Hey everybody, Scott Sprites are here, DocSports.com. How you doing? It is our update for Saturday, May 25th, 2019. I've got a free pick coming up in just a moment. First, a quick note, if you have yet to become a member over at DocSports.com, just want to give it a trial run. Real cool way to do it. You click on the link below the video and you get yourself set up for a free $60 account. You can use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages over at DocSports.com. It's as simple as that. Get started by clicking on the link below the video, free $60 account and a great day to jump on board and give it the trial run because I've got just my sixth seven unit play of the baseball season going on Saturday. It's an evening game. I think you're going to like the price on this one and uh, it's available on Saturday morning DocSports.com. Off to a winning start with these plays so far this year. As I mentioned, just our sixth. Last night, part of a, a sweep the last two days. We've won the last couple of days by a combined score of 34 to 9. We had the big six star winner last night on Arizona as they destroyed San Francisco, piling up 18 runs in the process. So anyway, seven unit play, just the sixth of the season, and it goes on Saturday over at DocSports.com. Be sure to check that out. I'm also involved in the NBA on Saturday. I've got the game six side between the Bucks and the Raptors. Right now, as I cut this video, you're looking at Toronto as a two and a half point favorite, and boy, is that set total come down from where it was. You'll remember offshore for game five, that total Total opened around 219 and dropped throughout right up until tip off. And this total has been as low as 212, 212 and a half as of Friday afternoon and evening. So, anyway, I've got the uh, side between the Bucks and the Raptors game at six on Saturday night, available Saturday morning over at docsports.com. We'll look to extend our about two month NBA run now to 42 and 24 and go up over $5,600 for those wagering just $100 per unit. Check it out. NBA, uh, NBA and Major League Baseball, the big seven-star play in baseball on Saturday at DocSports.com. Free pick in just a minute, but first I want to get back to our NFL thumbnail sketches as we move down to the NFC. After completing the AFC, we're going to start with the NFC East and those Dallas Cowboys who have a wins total. It's eight and a half a while back. It's now nine in a lot of spots, a little bit of juice on the under, about $1.20 or so. As far as we're concerned, listen, I think the biggest news so far far this spring has been the fact that Travis Frederick has taken part in OTAs. May 22nd, just a couple of days ago, he was out there with the rest of the team. You'll remember uh, the star center Travis Frederick missed last season and then was diagnosed late last year with Gillian Barr syndrome and so far it seems like they've got it under control. Here's why it's such a big deal, man, because the guy's such a talented player up front anchoring that offensive line and you'll remember last year Dak Prescott was sacked the second most times of any quarterback in the NFL. Almost five dozen times Dak Prescott ended up on his back when he dropped back to pass the football. So if he can get Travis Frederick back, that is a huge, huge positive for that Dallas offensive line if he's anywhere close to what he was a couple of seasons ago. Uh, as far as the defense is concerned, I think it'll be a stout season again for Dallas. I do think there might be a little regression in the backfield, but overall good defensive numbers is what I'm expecting from the Cowboys this upcoming season. I do like their draft. I, I gave it a B plus. Uh, I think this defensive tackle out of Central Florida that they got with the 58th selection is a steal at that point of the draft. And again, I think it's a B plus just short of an A minus grade for Dallas in the draft. Then look at the schedule. And I think the Cowboys have a shot at starting the season 3-0. I think eventually they end up with nine wins. However, a little caveat on that, and we may update our thoughts on the Dallas Cowboys as we get closer to August uh, we'll be sure and let you know if Travis Frederick is okay up front and if everything's falling into place on that offensive line, I might actually back Dallas to go over nine wins. But for now, I think it is a nine-win football team. I know a lot of people are sour on Dallas this offseason, but I think nine wins is where they can uh, probably end up. And if Frederick is healthy, the offensive line does a better job next uh, this upcoming season than they did last year. And we'll know more again that throughout the course of the summer into August, uh, this could be a team that we end up jumping on and playing the over. I, I still 
still don't think they're going to catch the Eagles in the NFC East. And speaking of the Eagles, they will be the next team we look at with our next NFL thumbnail sketch. We'll have that either on Sunday's video or on Monday. Next up, the Philadelphia Eagles in the NFC East. All right, before I get to the free pick, again, a real quick note as far as Saturday's concerned, just our sixth seven-star play in Major League Baseball, a Saturday evening side is being released, and it'll be available on Saturday morning over at DocSports.com. Again, sweeping the last two days by a combined score of 34-9. to I'm involved in the NBA. I've got the side between the Bucks and Raptors for Saturday. Saturday night. That's available right now at DocSports.com, so go grab both plays on Saturday. Don't forget my NASCAR matchups for this week's race will be available early Sunday morning Eastern time. We'll get them up by late Saturday night Pacific time. I'm going to get them up by no later than 11 p.m. Pacific time on Saturday night. We'll have the video early for you, just like this one also. You don't have to wait past uh, 1 a.m. Pacific for Sunday's actual video, and we'll talk a little bit, let you know what we got going on in NASCAR. And by the way, as far as golf was concerned, we had three matchups that we gave out. Two of our golfers withdrew. One of them, uh, Usheizen, right before uh, he teed off on Thursday. And we won our other matchup, which was Molinari over Shafley. Shafley being cut short from, or I should say, not making the cut, came up short at three over par. Molinari at one over par. So anyway, that's everything that's gone on for us over the past couple of days and what's to come this particular weekend. As far as my free pick for Saturday in Major League, baseball we're going to head back to Anaheim had a nice run the last few days but last night we gave a little bit back tonight we're going to go with the visitor the Texas Rangers I like the pitching matchup you've got Miner against Skaggs couple of lefties here's the thing about the Angels they've been weak at home against left-handers so far this season. So Texas comes in uh, in the month of May, averaging about five and a half runs per game. They haven't been great this season on the road against left-handers, but you've got an Angels team that has also not been able to hit well and score a lot of runs at home against left-handers. So that equals out. Overall, Texas scoring more runs than the Angels this month in the month of May, and I think they'll get the job done here. I like Miner over Skaggs. I know Skaggs at times can pitch better on the home bump than he can on the road. But on the road, but the bottom line is, is I think Miner is the better pitcher in this spot. We're going to back him here, and you're getting a nice price again. It's in that plus dollar ten to plus dollar fifteen range as I cut this video. So free pick on Saturday is going to be the Texas Rangers Miner over Skaggs, and don't forget we'll be right back here on Sunday morning, no later than we'll say 3 a.m. Eastern, midnight Pacific on Saturday night, maybe even a little bit earlier than that, and we'll have all our information for Sunday, including uh, kind of what we're going to do with those NASCAR matchups for Sunday's next race. All right, that's going to do it for us. If you like these videos, click on the thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Put Saturday in the win column right back here on Sunday morning.